But as a storm rolls in, CDI suffers a giant setback. Overnight, high winds push MST-40 and the demolition team to the very edge. With 22 days to implosion, project manager Kevin Klass has a problem. Overnight, high winds have pushed MST-40 to the end of the runway, crushing its edge. A few centimeters further, and the entire structure will go over. Kevin calls on their supervising contractor, Peter Bronger, to fix the problem. Using excavators, the crew must now pull the tower back and chain it to blocks on the runway. They fix one problem, but immediately face another. MST's protective lightning towers. Florida is the United States lightning capital with 100 days of electrical storms every year. Cape Canaveral sits in an area nicknamed Lightning Alley. Every one and a half square kilometers endures over 40 lightning strikes each year. Four giant lightning towers stand next to MST-40 to protect it from electrical storms. Steel guide wires tied to concrete anchors hold them up. Despite moving the tower to the edge of the runway, two lightning towers and their guide wires are within the projected range of the tumbling launch tower. In a worst case scenario, flying debris during the implosion could snap a guide wire and abruptly release over 2,700 kilograms of tension. Well, I look up and I see ductwork, I see pipes that are running up the outside of that corner there. Out. If it comes down and hits and releases, it's all moving this way. Do I think that these are in jeopardy right now? Mark makes a call. From a risk management standpoint, given the criticality of these and, and the consequences of damaging it, a sudden release is not worth the risk. No, I, I As a precaution, he will move the guide wires. It sounds like Mark enlists the help of tower expert David Stiles. The engineer's done the math, now it's time to go look. David climbs over 100 meters up the tower's ladder to take some measurements. We're on the top, David, we can see you. He estimates the mass diameter with his arms. Yeah, I'd say it's at least five feet, so I think we're good. Once it's repositioned on the mast, the cable can reach its new safe location on the ground. So we're gonna remove the guy wires, keep tension on them, and move them toward the back of the structure to the south temporarily till the structure's on the ground. David will move the guide wires over 30 meters away from the tower. X marks the spot. 